I just created a revolutionary blender add-on that lets you layer paint materials in real time, and it's free. Here's how it works. First, you add materials to your scene, then you put them in Uber Paint, and then you can paint them. It's basically like Photoshop, but for materials. Plus, it has advanced features like displacement support and different kinds of sources. So, before I bore you to death, let's begin. Before you start, grab Uber Paint from the link below. It's free, but donations are hugely appreciated and support development. Once you have it downloaded, just install it to Blender and we can get started. Upon enabling Uber Paint, the first thing you'll notice is base layer color. More on that later. There's also use goofy insults, which basically hurls an insult at you every time you make a mistake. Today, we are texturing this monstrosity using some Mega Scans textures, but Polyhaven textures or custom materials will work just as well. I've already prepared them in my scene, so as you can see, I can load them in and everything works fine. I've already done the UVs for my object and we are ready to go. When you have all of your materials prepared, add them into Uber Paint one by one. Similar to Photoshop, the bottom layers will be on the bottom and the top layers will be on the top. So by now, I'm sure you're super excited, but we have one more thing that we need to look at. And this is the mask target. So vertex colors are great for high poly objects, like really high density meshes and stuff. They're overall more streamlined, less awkward, and they support real time painting and cycles. Whereas image textures are great for low poly objects, such as a cube or Suzanne that simply do not have enough geometry density to make painting practical. If you are using image textures, open this menu and set the mask texture size. I recommend using around 512. And now, once you have all of that done, you can finally hit Generate Blend Material. You will immediately notice that the bottom layer has already been painted on for you. And if you try to erase that, you will encounter the color that I showed you earlier in the preferences. Once you've generated your blend material, just press the paint icon to access the layers and paint onto them. Be sure that your primary color is white and your secondary color is black because this means that you can paint and erase quite easily. So say I wanted to paint on the mossy ground at the top, just make sure that this is selected and you can paint it on. It's almost magical. Rough concrete, fallen leaves, yeah. Painting is definitely the most fun part of this entire process and that's why I love Uber Paint so much. You know, that was kind of awesome, but Uber Paint isn't just about paint. It's about being as lazy as possible, and that includes the need for a few more features, including displacement blending, opacity masks, ambient occlusion masks, and noise texture masks, which are all basically substitutes for painting. And you might be wondering, what the f even are these? So I'll explain. Starting with ambient occlusion, it's basically a way, instead of painting, to use your geometry as a source. So ambient occlusion essentially takes the cracks from your mesh and uses it as a mask. This may sound a little obscure, but after some experimenting, I am sure you will figure it out. Make sure to tweak it with the color ramp because the color ramp allows for more precise control over your masks. Next, a noise texture mask is basically the same as ambient occlusion, except for the fact that it's just a noise texture, which is essentially just a random paint across your entire mesh. And last but not least is displacement blending. So imagine you painted and you have a gradient going from full paint down to no paint at all. You don't want that just to be smooth. You never see leaves just like a half opacity leaf in real life. Like, no. So displacement blending lets you take the displacement map from that PBR texture and uses it to realistically blend it in. Unfortunately, I had completely forgotten about opacity masks, so let's just throw that in real quick. Instead of using a displacement image, use an opacity image and check the is opacity mask box, and that will let you blend in decals like cigarettes and stuff. There are still a couple things I haven't talked about though. First of which is editing and updating blend materials. So to edit a material, just click on the pencil icon next to it, and it opens up the material in just a new window. So you can go down to the Uber Paint tab on the end panel, and when you make a change, like say you add a new node, change a value or something, you have to press this to get it to update in the node group. So I just move it to my other monitor, but say I uh, increase the, the hue, right? I change the hue and press the, the update group, it changes the hue. So I'm trying to come up with a way to make it update live, but so far it's been quite buggy and unfortunately not suitable for use. 
Uh, by the way, this stuff is disgusting. I would not want to walk on this. Also, if you add or remove materials, you will need to press the update blend material button, or if for whatever reason, the update this group button in the node editor doesn't work. Uberpan has already seriously improved my environment creation workflow, and I'm hoping it will improve yours too. Like always, if you have any questions or comments, just drop them in the comment section and I will be happy to read them and respond. You're also welcome to join my Discord server linked below. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy Uber painting.